Greenesia, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episode 21 of the Aqua Top on White Sands. Go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. I'm still looking for the dolphin, right? Still in a way that dolphin also signifies like kukuru in a nutshell. <laughs> because she's got to be at home because if she's not at work and she's not where the dolphin is then she's got to be at home. Or, you know, she could be at the, um, the wedding office talking to that lady from last week about, you know, her, her, her brand new ideas that she has. <laughs> no, I think, yeah, no, she went back home. She went back home. That was the last time we saw her. And she was standing right in front of Gama Gama. So either she's still there. Because there she is. Of course she's going to call. Just answer it. But it is. Yeah, and so she's really depressed about it. You're just taking a break. You're trying to find yourself. Oh. You're just upset. And it's okay to be upset. Hmm? 
Really? <clears throat> well, it was very obvious, baby. Yeah, but it makes you wonder how long is she going to stay here? Like, just the majority of this episode or for a whole week? Yeah. You don't want anything to happen to him. Mm-hmm. And I see him. Oh my god, it's so cute. Mm -hmm. And then they go right into the ocean. And after that, they're on their own. Yeah, it's just, she's depressed. I get that. Just take some time to think. Yeah. 
It seems like you needed it. Maybe. Really? The greenery is just so beautiful. Baby.
Mm-hmm. So he probably worked at Kama as well. Mm-hmm. Well, that and then Kokoro. I know. So it'll be okay. <laughs> no. So she'll be fine. Oh. Of course. Gotta run to go see my girlfriend. <laughs> oh, Fuka. Oh, because I was about to say, she got there that quick.
That was beautiful. Like, oh my god. But the fact is that Fuka made it just like just in time. Just to be with her girlfriend. Like, oh my god. But oh okay. So I think now in a way, Kukuru has I think her her little rut, her little quote unquote depression in it. I think she's kind of over it. We're not gonna know until we get into next week. So but I think by the way she felt from the beginning of the episode versus the end, I think she's truly gotten over it and such. Sometimes it takes a little longer for other people. It depends. Um, but I think when she does go back home, she's going to go very strong, confident in herself and to be able to get, you know, what she needs to get done, done. The, blah, 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 I can't speak. The dolphin. Um, something tells me with that, we're going to probably get the conclusion on that maybe next week. It was sad to see a penguin hurt because I love me some penguins and I'm like, oh God, because I remember one time like my ex, he saw, he, he showed me a video of like a whole bunch of pen penguins and there was a point where like one of the penguins got into a fight over a female penguin and I was like, oh my God, this is sad. And I started crying. I was just like, uh... <laughs> He could ask me, he's like, are you okay? I was like, no, because it hurts. I don't want to see animals hurting each other. I mean, because they're just so fucking cute. And yeah, I get it. I so get it with Fuka because when you are taking care of an animal or you have an animal, pet, whatever, for so many years, you become attached to them. You love them and everything. And so when it gets closer and closer to the end of their lifespan, it, it's really like one of the most heartbreaking things, you know, to go through. Like, even though, yes, I got Cody. I got my dog, Cody. And how Cody literally looks like my two previous dogs, Yana and Kiana, there. Um, I think the first time when both Yan and Kiana passed, like it was a m almost like a month in a way since between both of their deaths. Um, I didn't want a dog anymore. I was like, I, I don't want to have or be around a pet for a while to be attached to another one. And then eventually they're saying goodbye and such. But it was something about Cody. <laughs> it was something about Cody that when I saw him... I knew I was going to love him and I was going to love him just as much as Yan and Kiana because I mean he like I said he literally looks like both of them he acts like both of them in a way except this dog Cody he <laughs> he's very he he's very skittish um very like jumpy and everything he gets scared easily but it's like one of the cutest thing and I don't we don't know if before the owners who had them before we got him so the people who who gave them to the previous owners before we got him we don't know if they did anything to him and such and so he's very like I remember when we first got him he was okay around me and my mom but when we went over my aunt's house one day um he was just really scared and he was crying and everything so I had to like console him and say it's okay and stuff and yeah I've gotten pretty attached to Cody because when we first got him I hugged I hugged the hell out of him because it's like um imagine having any type of pet and you know how they always follow you follow you around everything and when they do pass on it feels you feel empty you walk around like a house apartment whatever and you don't hear like the pitter patter of someone walking behind you and so when Yana passed away well when Kiana passed away yeah like it still hurt but I had Kiana I mean uh, I had Yana but when a couple of months later once we moved when Yana passed away um that hurt her even more and so I was always like 
by myself and not having like pitter patter of someone behind me or anything and so it just felt weird for a little long like I think almost for a whole year then we got Cody and I still get that like Cody will follow me like anywhere and such Cody will always like either love to cuddle with me or my mom but because like I said I was the one who hogged the crap out of him um he's very also attached to me as well and such he like funny enough he has separation anxiety um because when I went on the trip like a couple months ago baby was just upset he thought he got abandoned because we left him at my aunt's house and everything and I was like no 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 no." so like literally the last day of the trip the morning of the last day I was trying to hurry up put stuff in the car so I could go get my dog because I was like "Mm -mm, the dog ain't doing good and my mom was driving and I'm over here like stressed I'm like please hurry up and drive my aunt so I can go get my dog and be like it's okay (laughs) but I I know how Kukuru feels like it's just it happens to all of us it really truly does really for both of them really truly understand how they felt this past week i mean this was a very interesting episode probably made me even now my new favorite especially how with these two personally felt in their feelings and everything because sometimes you feel like you feel some type of way and you just want to run away from all your problems but sometimes you can run away for a little bit but eventually you have to come back and you have to face those problems and issues head on and so I think now since Kukuru has evolved from that and such by next week getting into the final few weeks of this show this is when we're really truly going to see Kukuru shine her most brightest she shine all like every single episode but I think from now up until the end of it this is really truly where she's going to be like very like independent hard and she's gonna do everything out of her best abilities but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 21 of the aqua top uh, aqua top on white sand if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next thursday for episode 22 bye guys